Hey Jules Bliss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So people we are doing seven Oprah Winfrey quotes and I expressed on day one which was yesterday how fond I am of Oprah and her journey which has just been incredible. She has been spared very little hardships even though yes she is the richest woman in the world and most certainly the richest African-American in the world and mostly she's just very cool <laughs> and what I love is despite all her money and everything else and Lord knows she has had a weight challenge um, and a nutrition challenge and everything else she remains very human in her quest to try and find the better way oh my goodness I saw this thing she's living I think in Montecito which is kind of the wine country here in um, Southern California and that's kind of considered Central California it's just past Santa Barbara but anyway, um, she grows fruit and vegetables and granted, I'm sure she has gardeners and helpers and everything else, but oh my gosh, she had a cauliflower in her hands, the size of a small country. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, it's just really cool um, to see her finding her way because as I said, I actually walked with her back in 1995 when she had what was called Get Moving with Oprah and it was a campaign to get people up and about let alone today who knew all these years later my gosh the 95 205 215 so yeah you know 25 years ago um she was trying to get people moving and that was well before internet or anything when people became even more sedentary who can believe <laughs> so she's been on her journey for a really long time and i appreciate that there's so many things that i can relate to with her so Quote number two, I love it. It literally says, your journey begins with a choice to get up, step out, and live fully. <sighs> Isn't that powerful? It's, again, it all goes back to mindset, right? I mean, we literally have to decide that we are just going to do things differently. And I mentioned Tani Ra a lot, and she's a phenom for me as well. Um, on every social media platform you can find her. But one thing that she always promotes is that you have to do different to get different, you know? So it's a risk. It, there's definitely a risk. There's an excellent chance you're going to fail. There's an excellent chance you're going to go one step forward and two steps back. There's no doubt that things like that are going to happen. But it all begins with a choice, you know? Um, what I'm finding as I get older is that people just don't even care, okay? They don't care if I'm successful. They don't care if I'm not successful. They don't care if I'm fat. They don't care if I'm thin. They don't care if I'm healthy. Like, people just don't care, you know? They're so busy doing their own business. They might have an opinion, and they may indeed focus on me more when they don't feel like focusing on their own life. But in general, they just don't really care. All right. <laughs> so it really comes down to ourselves. Are we going to choose to do different, to get different? Are we going to choose to begin that journey, right? To just get up. I am telling you guys straight up, I have been struggling so hard with getting up early in the morning and it's because I go to bed so late. And going to bed late may not change, but I it, it just keeps calling me that I need to get up. And it doesn't matter if I'm part of the Tanny Raw Reset. It doesn't matter what's going on. I am called to be an early riser. And it could be for prayer. Um, they certainly have Overeaters Anonymous meetings at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, for people who don't want to be late, they have them at 4.15 in the morning. You know, they certainly have the Mass at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, like all of these things are available to me, let alone choosing to do my lemon water, my, you know, with turmeric, my um, celery juice, you know, making sure that I have my food for my day, you know, all of those things, but taking care of my spiritual, my physical, my mental, you know, all of those things seems to begin at four in the morning. So my commitment is to just do it. I just have to do it. And no matter what time I go to bed, and if ideally in choosing to get up at four, if I find myself exhausted, I will indeed commit to going to bed sooner and trusting that I will find a new rhythm. But I, that calls at me all the time. And that is a choice to get up and to get up before the noise of the world, to step out 
like to literally, you know, those people in pajamas all day, God bless them. I have never really been in pajama. I, I won't say never. When my parents were getting a divorce when I was in middle school, I would come home straight from school and put on my pajamas. I don't know if it was a desire to just be safe and own the house. Like if I'm in my pajamas, no one else can leave me, right? I don't really know what all it was about, um, but I definitely did that. But in general, I am most certainly a person who gets up, makes my bed, gets dressed. I'm one of those. I don't lounge. I'm not, I don't lounge. I've never been a lounger. Um, so I will step out, but what about living fully? There's no way I've been living fully. Even if I appear to be highly functioning to the civilian eye, in my heart, I am absolutely not doing all of those things I feel called to do, including creativity. I'm such a natural speaker. I'm such a natural writer. I have so many stories to share and tell with no commitment to paper and no plan uh, to get the word out. I mean, yes, starting Jules Plus Vegan was a step in the right direction, absolutely. But have I promoted it? <laughs> have I attempted to make it more professional looking? Yeah, no, to all of the above. But anyway, I really appreciate this. She recognizes that your journey begins with a choice to get up, to step out, and to live fully. I love it. And I, I like this one a lot. Anyway, funny side story before I go. <laughs> we were out doing all of the Sunday chores that we do. And we were at um, Tractor Supply. And they had this whole section. And I think um, the girl's name is Joanna. Joanna something. And, and she has this whole new line uh, called Magnolia. Um, she's a DIY person. You probably know her and Chip. I think is her husband's name. They got five kids. Anyway, I was looking at her stuff and it's all country themed and, you know, so cute. And there was this really beautiful wooden platter, I guess, that had like about a three fourths or one inch rim. And it was like a platter. And I saw it and I told my husband, oh my gosh, look how beautiful, but I could never use it as a bond, which stands for bowl of nourishment, um, because it doesn't have any support, but isn't it so pretty? And then he's like, come, I'll be right back, watch the cart. And I was like, okay, so I'm still looking through all the cute things, and then I'm like, where the heck is my husband? Like, did he go to the restroom, or what did he do? All of a sudden, he shows up, and he has these two huge buckets, okay? One is like 25 gallons, and one is 15 gallons, and one is purple, and the other one is pink. And I'm like, okay, what are you doing? I'm like, hun, the horses don't need any feeding troughs, if you will. <laughs> what are you doing? And he looks at me and he's like, oh, they're not for the horses, they're for you. They're your bond. <laughs> he's like, which one do you want? Do you think you need the 25 gallon or just the 15? Yeah, he went there. Oh my gosh, it was so hilarious. I was losing my mind. Hey, at least they were pink and purple. Really cute. <laughs> it was totally brilliant. Yeah, so he kind of understands that it's a quantity thing for me. Uh, it was brilliant. Anyway, I'm looking forward to a good week. Again, it always starts with the mindset I'm going to be brave and get up. That's my commitment. I am getting up tomorrow morning. I am not going back to sleep. I am absolutely getting up. And we'll see how that plays. But I am doing it at least for tomorrow. That is my goal. Tomorrow morning, October 12th, my beautiful sister Vanessa's birthday, I will absolutely get up at 4 o'clock. My alarm is already set. But as it is, it's, you know, only 8.30, but I have a ton of homework. I'm going to try and find some balance. I don't know what that looks like. Sorry for the little earthquakes. Uh, my setup here <laughs> leaves something to be desired. I'm going to get there, but I'm not there yet. So unfortunately, even though I have a beautiful new halo light, which is all this light that you're catching, and it has a place for a phone and everything, I don't understand how to do it. <laughs> yes, I need the light there, but the phone up there would never work, and I need access to my computer to see my content. So I'm actually using my little $19 one, which every time I touch something <laughs> becomes an earthquake. And that is super appropriate for California, right? Yeah. 
All right, people, as always, like if you like, join us if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you, especially in prayer. And until we talk again, what do you think of that Oprah Winfrey quote? One more time, your journey begins with a choice to get up, step out, and live fully. Amen, girlfriend. And until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed.